You're listening to Tabletop Arcanum, a podcast dedicated to learning and exploring the hobby of tabletop gaming. Your hosts are Justin Taylor and Richard Geese, so sit back and relax as we talk, discuss, and joke our way through the hobby we love so much. Welcome to Tabletop Arcanum, this is Justin, and today I'm bringing you a review of Hero Forge. You may have heard about Hero Forge, possibly even on our prior episode interviewing the CEO, Tegan Morrison, talking about the origins of Hero Forge. I do highly recommend taking a listen to that episode. I had a lot of fun talking to Tegan, and you can find out why not getting an action figure may have caused the spark to create Hero Forge. But today is actually talking about Hero Forge itself, the product the experience and everything in between to give you a little bit of a primer to know what we're going to be talking about hero forge is a web-based miniature customizer that you can order your minis sent to you in several different types of plastics or materials you can even now get stl files so that if you have a 3d printer at home you can print your own minis and overall it started seven years ago as a Kickstarter of, hey, let's make minis that we can customize. And around that maybe full six-year mark or so ago is when I discovered and knew about Hero Forge and took a look at it. Made a mini or two of my own, looked at them, thought they were really neat. I returned several years later after Hero Forge 2.0 was kickstarted and they added color and more minis and it was a night and day difference. I thought initially Hero Forge had a bones of a great RPG character builder, and there was a lot of choices at the time, including non-medieval fantasy choices, so it wasn't just great for D&D. They had options for games like Shadowrun or Cyberpunk or any modern RPG too, so you had those flexibility in what you could put on your mini. I even made a mini at the time that was done for a Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow style game and had a kind of a Rocketeer style character built out of their program, which was super cool. Flash forward, the options have exploded. It feels like a whole night and day difference. 2.0 really invigorated uh, not only color, but poses. You can adjust a lot more on the mini. You can mix and match pieces and assets a lot more. So in a short time span in the grand scheme of things, there has been a ton of upgrades to Hero Forge itself. Talking with Tegan, there is even more in the work. So flash forward another handful of years and Hero Forge is going to look completely different than what it does during this recording today, which is awesome to think about. That's a little bit of my background with using Hero Forge. Also, I've seen a couple test minis. I've done my own hard plastic from back when. I've done a more modern one using the color printed plastic. And I've also seen the bronzed cast minis as well. Looking at all of them, the prices on those minis do range. A basic one's going to cost you around $20, upwards to over $100 if you're looking at those poor premium materials. Now we are talking like there is a little bit more in that range. The colored plastic sits around $45 and can go a little bit higher if you put something like a mount or, or large base or wings or options. And that's kind of true with all of them. If you put something large that kind of ups the size of your miniature from a standard medium-sized creature. It gets a little bit more costly, but you're also getting a bigger model for that. The thing I'm going to break down is we're going to talk first the creator itself. I believe Hero Forge has a wonderful model generation system. They have an amazing amount of assets, and it continues to grow. And every time I feel like I log in, I'm impressed with the new thing that was added, the different thing that was added, and I love it for that. I cannot get enough of just sitting there and building models and trying to find that perfect angle, that perfect fit for something I might want to get printed one day for whether a character I'm making or a big bad evil guy that is going to be the crux of my campaign and a miniature I want to have truly correct to what I envision it to be. So often in the hobby and for many, many years, you get kind of close and either you either have to get clever and kit batch and like saw off arm, put the right weapon on, or things of that nature to get the right mini. And Hero Forge takes that and you put it in digitally and then they send it to you. There's a lot to be said about that being a beautiful solution to a problem that gamers had. Likewise, because of their assets and because of all the options, it's not just tabletop RPGs that can benefit from something like Hero Forge. You can get a custom miniature build for things like your board games, your favorite board game may want to spice up a bit 
and I've seen some beautiful models generated for games like Arkham Horror, the card game, that don't necessarily have models for them, but you wanted to have a little bit more representation of those characters wandering around the city. It has got all of these potential in there, and that's why I love the creation aspect of Hero Forge. Next thing I want to talk about in my review is going to be the actual minis themselves, if you order one or print one off, what you kind of get for your for your dollar. And with the plastic minis, the, the traditional plastic or premium plastic, you do see a difference between them in durability and quality. So if you do want a mini and want to get it a little bit nicer, I do recommend that premium plastic, but the basic plastic is really good as well. And you get quite a bit of detail on them. Now they do come plain and boring and uncolored, so you don't really get to see a lot of that. But if you are a hobbyist painter, it could be something that you could have a lot of fun with truly customizing. In the solution that you are not one of those painters, but you still want color on your mini, that is where the colored plastic comes in and shines a lot. I really want to talk a little bit heavier on that specific thing because it is one of their newest and greatest features in Hero Forge. And I was in very impressed with how clean the color differentials played out in the mini I ordered for the review. The skin tone is completely differentiated from the shirt on the mini versus the coat on the mini versus the base and items that the character is wielding. And all of these different pieces are truly what I put on the mini. And then again, what I colored on the mini. They do have some amazing pre-done color schemes if you want to be pretty quick about it. And I would recommend go with a color scheme that kind of gets close to what you're looking for and then tweak it using their software. And I think that is where I came into where I liked it the best. The one thing I will say slight and differential that I may have not realized is because I'm seeing it on my computer screen, which is a much larger screen, I can get a lot closer to it so I can see the gem color on a pommel or embedded into the top of a shield. It doesn't come out as easily on the miniature itself. If you pull it up to your eye, you can see it there. So it does print it. And I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but from a casual tabletop three foot range, it's an item or a feature that can get lost very easily within the mini itself. Likewise, the colors were a little bit more muted than they were on my computer screen. And I have a strong feeling that is more of monitors and what I was looking at is a lot more rich in tone and color than what printers can probably pull off still. I'm still impressed by this color itself. I am not in any ways disappointed in the sense that, well, it's the wrong color. It's just the red was maybe a little bit more vibrant or it was, there was a gold yellow that may have been looked more gold and turned out more yellow um, in the actual printed mini itself. Take that with a little bit of, it may be close to what you order, but it may not be exact what you order when you go with the colored plastic. The one thing I will say is you are paying a premium for the cost of a Hero Forge Mini. So you are paying a little bit heavier cost on not only the type of material and the colored printed plastic, but just on a general mini itself, it is definitely a little bit more pricier than, say, a store-bought default mini that is mass-produced. Part of that is because you're looking at a truly customized mini piece, and there is a bit of a premium that you should be paying for something like that because you're also using software and things of that nature. Overall, some of it seems a little bit on the high-end aspect. Not so much that it is fully undoable. But I would really tend to reserve the printed plastic or the, uh, especially the color plastic for a character that I know I'm going to be playing for a long time or a character that I'm going to use heavily like a big bad evil uh, individual. I would not use it for, say, your, your grunts or maybe even your lieutenant style characters. And that's just my value for the price of the mini. A solution around that is that Hero Forge does offer their STLs at a pretty decent price compared to the minis themselves. So if you have access to 3D printing, resin printers, or, or filament printers, you can print your own model with these files, and that can be where your cost savings comes in. You can still get your super customized mini, but then you'd print it yourself and do the creation of that. And with the cost of printers coming down, if you want to do a lot of minis, that actually may be the more cost efficient. Uh, the only other thing I would talk about with the colored plastic is if you are a painter, it is a pretty good color scheme on them that you can place. And it does look great at that three foot level. 
the closer you get the details start getting lost and that is a thing that the colored printed plastic can only do so well if you are someone who's a hobbyist painter you may be more inclined to paint your own miniature at that point one thing i will say is hero forge has uh, over the years also developed a subscription based so they have your your basic where you can do a lot of uh, your simple stuff where you can send up your links and and things of that nature if you actually go to their pro or pro plus download levels you can get a lot more for it including making tokens so for your virtual tabletops with a much better resolution on your, your character portraits uh, you can save your colors panel palettes and things of that nature which are very cool you can import a lot of those things from save so if you've got to really spend a lot of time and narrow it down you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time as well as new content and things will be sent to those subscribed members first but the really neat thing is with the pro plus download level you get download credits per month that you are subscribed as well as monthly pre-made digital packs so not only you're getting your your minis similar to a, a loot box or patreon that are out there miniature files but then you get to do your own and that i think is a fantastic option if you are someone who has access to those printers uh, and you have the 12 uh, 12 month three month or one month versions of that and if you do more months at a time you will get a steeper uh, discount towards it all the way down to about $15 a month for the highest tier but that is if you do it in a 12 month schedule so if you feel like that you're looking at a 12 months at about $15 you're looking at about $180 US however you are also looking at 60 minis that you can download across those 12 months and they're yours to print and do as you wish which is super cool not only that all of the other packs and things that are available are fa are parts of that too but even at that point your minis are costing about three dollars a mini which is beautiful price point when it comes to miniatures at that point so if it's a service that you think you're going to be using or you have a lot of ideas for minis that you want to create for yourself and then print off this is i think the most valuable based version that you can get out of hero forge assuming you have those tools available to you so all in all i think hero forge holistically has a wonderful service that is available for, mini for miniature players, whether you're RPG or you want to have a really cool mini for your board game. It only is going to get better with time and effort with the team releasing new assets and new tools. And then the printers are going to get even better as time goes on. So all of those factors, Hero Forge is only going to improve over time. I hope you've enjoyed our review of Hero Forge from Tabletop Arcanum and gives you some insight into what the service is and where some of those values may be within it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe our social medias. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Hit those notifications, get those notices to let you know that we have new content out. And as always, happy gaming. <music>